guys welcome back to another video today is day 49 in quarantine wow 49 days strong that we've been stuck inside social distancing amazing love that so today i'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup look whether i'm going to work or i have a client or i'm going out with friends it's super easy i use all super affordable products so if you like this makeup look then keep on watching and let's get into the video so the first thing I do before I start my makeup is cleanse my face and then put a moisturizer on. I use the Kiehl Ultra Facial Cream and this is what it looks like. My skin type is probably combination, so it's like oily sometimes and then it's dry. Normally in the morning it'll be dry and at night it'll be oily. So this is the only face cream that I found that makes my skin like balanced out. So I definitely recommend this if you have normal to combination skin type. Um, this is a really good one to use. I am like so tired right now. I feel like I cannot stay awake. So after that, I go in with my concealer and I put it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a little on my forehead, and then I put it on literally every single red spot that I have because it creates like a super nice base for my foundation to go on and everything looks completely even. Like it has a very nice even color. So normally I would use the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium and this is what it looks like. But since quarantine and I ran out of it, I didn't feel like ordering it online because that's just gonna take too long and there's gonna be so many more extra fees. I decided to go with the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I've seen a lot of reviews on this and this is technically considered like the dupe of the Tarte concealer or like, I don't know, the, the like sister brand or whatever to the Tarte shape tape. So I really love this one and it's also so much cheaper. So I'm gonna put that all over the place that I said and then I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. That is damn. It looks super light on my skin, but I like it like that because it makes my skin have such an even skin tone for like the foundation to go on and it just looks so good. If you have like dark under eye circles too, which sometimes I definitely have those, it literally does wonders. Like look at just like the difference from like here to like there. It's so bright. Once that is all over your face and blended in, I look like a ghost right now, but trust me, it all works out. I go in with my foundation and I've always used this. I mean, I've used it for the past two years, honestly, since I moved to California because I hate being in the sun all the time and just having like a heavy foundation on my face. So I have fallen in love with the Maybelline Dream BB Pure foundation and it's so good for people who have like a little bit of acne or even if you have a ton of acne It's really good because it has um, some salicylic acid in it, which is really good for treating acne So I do have acne sometimes so I love this foundation because I feel like even if I Layer it which you can do with this. It's not gonna break me out It's just gonna you know keep my skin looking flawless and I'm not gonna be worried about having like my pores completely filled with a super thick foundation so this is what it looks like I mix the 120 and 130 medium shades together I don't put this foundation on my face in any specific way I literally just like go like this and mix the two colors like once around my face you can see so this is shade 120 you can see that it's kind of like the same color as my face as to when I put the concealer on. So that's why I go in with the 130 and kind of deepen it a little bit so I don't look like a ghost. So it's completely blended out. I don't know if you can really see it, but it looks like a completely flawless color. Like, there's no pigmentation for my scarring on my chin. Same with my forehead. My under eyes look very like brightened. So that's why I do the concealer first. And then I'm going to go in with my loose face powder. I have used the Airspun for so long. This is what it looks like. I 
absolutely love this face powder. I've been using it for, I don't know, the past like three years. Sometimes I'll use the Laura Mercier powder, but I'm honestly not even a huge fan of it for some reason. Everyone always brags about it, but, or brags about it, like boasts about it. I don't know, whatever. People always talk about it. I love this one, and this one you can get at Walgreens for literally like $5, or you can get on Amazon too if you don't have Walgreens near you. <laughs> But then I just press under my eyes so it doesn't crease. So I'm gonna let that bake and I'm gonna go into my contour. I love cream contour. I also love mixing cream contour with powder contour, but right now I'm going to do a cream contour stick I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Contour Stick in the color Toffee. It looks like this. I just draw it from my cheekbones, my nose, and around my forehead. And then I go in with an angled brush and I just blend it out. Once I've let my powder bake a little bit and I've already put on my contour, then I just wipe it off with a big fluffy brush with a big fluffy brush. <laughs> and then I go in with a blush. I do not know where this blush is from. I think I got it from like a beauty supply store, like Boston Beauty from when I used to live in Boston. I've had it for forever, but I love this. So this is what it looks like. It literally has no name on it, but this is the shade of it. It's kind of just like a rose pink. And I get a blush brush, and I just put that on the apples of my cheeks. After that, if I'm still looking a little pale, like I kind of am right now, I'm going to go in. I honestly should have just stuck to using the 130 because I've been tanning a little bit, but I didn't realize that I was actually this dark. So I'm just gonna go in with a bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Milani bronzer in the shade 01. It's like this, but it's all like broken inside, if you can see that. I dropped it and I never really fixed it. So I'm just gonna go in with a stipple brush so it doesn't pick up too much product and then just lightly get some bronzer on there. And put it all over my face. And for the last part for my face, I'm gonna go into highlighter. I use the Wet n Wild Highlighter Palette. I have, like, I've been obsessed with this highlighter. It's so cheap, first of all, and it worked so good. I'm literally glowing, like, throughout the entire day when I put this highlighter on. I used to use the Becca highlighter, and honestly, for the price difference and the quality, this beats it any day. So, I use the Blossom Glow color. So I just take a little brush like this, and I just put some on my nose, on the bridge of my lip, and then my cheekbones. Like, look at that. That's incredible, honestly. For like, this was probably like $3, and it lasts for the entire day. Put it on my finger like this, and I'll put it in the corner of my eye to like brighten up my eye a little bit. So for my eyebrows, Normally I never fill in my eyebrows, but I'm going to today a little bit just because I got some foundation on them and I want to make them look darker. I'm just going to take a little eyebrow brush and spoolie. It's not really focusing, but it doesn't really matter. You probably know what these look like. And I'm just going to go in with an eyeshadow palette I have and use the darkest color. And then just very lightly just go over them. 
in the same direction as the hair growth. Eyeshadow. I normally don't do a lot of eyeshadow, but I'll just do like a little bit so it looks like I have something going on. I will go in with the same eyeshadow palette. This palette I've had literally for like, I don't even know, five years. And it's the NYX Lovatics by Demi Natural palette, I guess. I don't know. I'm obsessed with this palette. I need to invest in like a nice palette, but I don't. So I just put one of the lighter shades on all over my lid and this doesn't have to be perfect it's literally just to like add a little bit of something onto your lids and then I take a crease brush and I just use like a little bit darker shade color in the crease my newest favorite thing to do is to add like a winged look but using an eyeshadow instead of like an actual liquid liner or like an eyeliner it just like looks super natural and i think it just makes your eyes look more open once you've put your mascara on so i'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade so this brush is like a little angled brush so it's perfect for a little wing and you literally just like Go like that you can already see that it made a little wing a little bit and then you just drag it up a little bit just so it like blends in and now the final thing is my mascara i'm going in with the tarte eyelash curler and curling my lashes I'm going in with the Voluminous Carbon Black L'Oreal Paris Mascara. Once that is all complete, then I just finished off with a little something on my lips and I'm using the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss. I love this because it literally makes your lips look super plump and like perfect. So, without getting lip injections. So this is all I need. All right guys, so that finishes up the look. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you tried this makeup look for yourself and be sure to hit that subscribe button because I post videos every single week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.